Hello YouTube, this is Kaishifan Kujiri here with a figure review. Now, this ain't gonna be an Ultraman or a Godzilla or a Gamera. When well, said, this is gonna be something from Star Wars. And who is it? Well, it's none other than my favorite Star Wars character. Revan, hold on. Revan. From Star Wars Next to the Old Republic. But before I begin the review, if you start hearing a noise, that's just my fan ignored. Now, off with history. Now, for those of you who haven't played the Knights of the Old Republic, you might you may not know, but for those of you who do who have, you may know, but anyway, I'll just get on the, the history. Apparently he was a Jedi and a Jedi a Coruscant and <laughs> he was a Jedi at Coruscant who was, who was trained under Master Zar, Dorak, and Kreia. And it was during the Mandalorian Wars. And we know at the time where the Jedi didn't want to get involved with. Revan did somehow. Revan, but then Revan had gathered up him, his apprentice Malik, and the Jedi Exile, who will be coming in, in another game later. So, as Revan gathered up his Jedi, they they went out to help the Republic. They went to Duxin, Andron, and yet so many planets I can't name. But anyway, later, when the Mandalorian Wars was over, Revan and... But before the, the war was over, Revan had destroyed the Mandalorian leader, Mandalore. And then, then the Mandalorian Wars was truly over. Then, after all that, a lot of Jedi were, were exiled and Revan and Malik feared the same thing, so they just went to somewhere where no one knows, actually. And so... And so... They went out to Dantooine where they found the Star Ford. Or the... A star map. So they can find the Star Forge. So they found all the maps. So they found all the maps in Dantooine, Tatooine, Kashyyyk, Korriban, and Manan. And yet, starting another war, the Jedi Civil War. Then, during the war, the Jedi had hired Bastila Shan. Had sent Bastila Shan to capture Revan. But as soon as they tried to capture Revan, Malik had betrayed him. On firing, he commanded his own ships to fire on him. Then later, his memory was badly damaged. And so the the Jedi programmed him with a new identity. And so he was now a soldier of the Republic who woken up on Excuse me for hold on. Uh, sorry for that little delay. Then uh, Revan had woken up on a ship called the Endar Spire. Excuse me for a sec. Are you calling me? No. Oh, sorry. Never. Sorry about that. Again.
He woke up in the spur and met some guy, um, I can't think of his name. What was his name? Uh, anyway, if you remember, please comment. He woke up on the end. He woke up on the on the end of our spire. He managed. He manages to escape. But he manages. He manages to escape. But the part, the guy he woke up with didn't escape because he was holding like a Sith. He was holding like a dark Jedi. Then he managed. Then he manages to go back. Then he manages, but I mean, scratch that. Then he manages to escape with none other than Karth Onassi, a soldier, a veteran who's from the Republic during the Mandalorian Wars. So then, and so on, and so he escaped and landed on a planet called Terrace. They landed on Terrace and Baron, Baron was knocked out very badly and he started to have a strange vision. Because at the time he wasn't he wasn't a Jedi, he, he was just an ordinary he was programmed to be an ordinary soldier. He had this vision of Basula fighting a dark Jedi. Then he woke up and then Carstal started telling him this and this that they were on Terrace, so then they went off to find Vestula. But along the way, they've met some new friends who helped them out. They met. What was her name? What? The little. They met Zalbar and Mission. That, 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 that's who they are. Zalbar and Mission. Well, at first, Mission asked for help. Because her friend, Zalbar, the big Wookiee. Was captured by go. Was captured by the the warriors or those pig people. You know what I'm talking about. And so Revan agrees to help out. Then they and so they did. But later, later on, they managed to find. They managed to. They had. They found the war. They helped them out. And then later, because someone, I, uh, someone told Revan and Karth about what was it? The Black Bags. Someone told about well, getting the Black Bags because they had Bessel at the time. And and so Mission agreed to help them out, get into the Black Black Bags through the Terra sewers. One of those nasty rackles are. So they went in, they went back and take take the piece that was from, they went back to take the piece, or a soup modulator from, that the Black stolen from, I can't remember who it was, but you know, you might know, you, some of you may know who I'm talk, I might be talking about. Then later on, then they got back. The Hidden Backs, that's who they were. No wait, I take it back. It was the Hidden Backs and the Black Volkers. Rev Revan took it back to the Hidden Backs and... Gave back the spool box right back to the Hidden Backs. Then later, they managed to enter a swoop race. Revan was a, was a contestant. He had won. But the guy who had Bessel as a prize was being too stubborn and didn't want to give Bessel away, but Bessel manages to free herself. And so things got out of hand down there. And so things managed to get out of hand down there. So yeah. It went... It kind of went like the OK Corral there. If So everything went back. Revan, Revan took Bessler back to his, to the apartment then. Later, Revan had another vision of, of himself, because at the time he didn't know he was Revan, of him and Bessler trying to capture, but 
Malik fired, it shows how, how Malik betrayed him at the end. Then later, the whole gang was at the apartment. They started coming up with a plan, then later, a Twi'lek, who I don't know who it was, told Revan that a Mandalorian that worked for Data Kang had worked for Dava Kang named Candris Udo wanted to talk to him and so they started talking and whatnot and so at the canteen so he talked to him and he told him how a way to escape Taurus they had to get some hidden large clothes but first they had to get through the, the base and Candris knew a little droid that who who joins the group? TM3 T3 I know it's T3 something T3M4 T3M3 one of the two and so they got T T3 took him to the synth base infiltrated then still wants to admit Candrus Ordo then Candrus took Revan to introduce him to Dava Ka Kang or Kong well you know what I'm talking about Then later on, they were trying to look for a ship that he had called the Edmund Hogg. Something like a bit of an, an homage to the Millennium Falcon, if you play the game. <coughs> it's an, either an homage or a tribute of the Millennium Falcon. But yeah. Later. So they match. They managed to find the we have we have a hog but Dava Kang and his new top dog, Cal Nordo. Didn't want murder to leave without a fight. So they did, Dava Kang dies and what they thought is when they seen the last of Cal Nord. So they managed to escape and they they just took off. So they managed to escape him. Before Malik could destroy Terrace. Yeah. So they went back to Dantooine. So then we went back to Dantooine reported to the council, Master Rook, Master Zah, Master Dora again. The little, little Yoda dude. If you know what I'm talking about, please comment. And so, after they reported a day later, Revan had a vision of him and his apprentice, Malik, going to the Star Forge and he w Later, he and Bessel reported that the had the same vision and First they did some training and after a few training he meets first before going to the before going to find the Star Forge or a star the star map I mean Vandar, that's who it was. Master Vandar told him Raven about a dark grove about a dark grove that was corrupting that was, that was corrupted there and so Raven wants to go investigate it and who was it other than? it was Juhani the Cathar or the kitty cat woman now during that time it is, if you're playing, if you play the game, it's up to you if you want her as a friend or an ally. If you want her as a friend or you just want to kill her, it's up to you. Then finally, he and Bethel go back to the star, go to the, the ruin down in Dantooine. First they encounter the weird droid that can speak in any language. And the language they were speaking to them that they understand was Salkath.
And so they had to disactivate some some terminals and whatnot. And so they found the storm has reported back. Then really, this they reported back. They found the storm map report back then, after a while. Vandor told them that they, they knew the location of the storm map, so... They went there and... Whatever, it depends what location would you like to go first. But if you go to Dantooine... You can... You're supposed to be solving a Tusken Raider problem there. And you can get a new companion named... HK-47 who can translate them for you since... And ironically... At the time, neither HK or Revan knew each other. Hey, I'm gonna go to the game. Okay, sorry about that. Sort of late. Don't ignore that part. And at the time, and they didn't know each other at that time, but I'll just get on to it later. So if you go there, help the Kashyyyk problem. If you go there and help the Tusken Raider problem, yeah, you'll get the butt of HK-47, Revan's own personal assassin droid. And, help. and then you'll find a storm up, and if you're there, you might see Kal Nord, surprisingly, that was sent by, by Malik and, uh, what's that, Admiral? Sol Karath, or if you know what I'm talking about. Then you might you might know this. Then later, but it, then if you decide to go to Kashyyyk, the Kashyyyk Astor, or depends, you'll meet an old man named Jolie Bindo. He might know you. He might know who you really are, but he didn't want to tell you at the end. Toward like literally towards the end of the game. Then after you found, but then after that. If you find the second star map, you will be... Star Map, like, we'll, we'll send his apprentice, I can't forget his name, who was the one that killed the guy in the... who we first met in the... and the Endar Spire. So, yeah. Then later, you'll be captured by... You'll be captured by Darth Malik's ship. The, the Leviathan, that's what it is. Then it depends who you send to rescue you, so... It depends who you send to rescue you. Then later, listen to that, so... so you go up and confront Sol Karath and you start killing everyone, and just, just... If you know... If you're playing the game, you know what I'm talking about. Then later, you encounter Mal... Your old apprentice, Malik, then... He starts to reveal who you really are, who he really, Reverend really is. Reverend gets all surprised and whatnot. Then later, then later, you know. Hold on, I'm trying to think here. Then later, you, you fought him twice, and during the second fight. Basil comes in and covers you and... Er, Basil comes in and covers you and she, she lets you and Korth manage to escape. And so you do, you go out and find the last star map for Basil or whatever, depends how you want to do, do it in the game. So we find the last star map, you go to and unknown world full of, of weird looking people, I don't know who they are. A rock or towel or something like that. They have little rink horse for pets. <laughs> so they tell you on ancient temple, so it depends. Whose temple you... There are two different clans on that temple, it depends who you go to. They'll ask you to... If you go on the one that's on the west, they'll tell you to go kill a guy. They'll go kill the other one. But if you go, go kill the one on the east. But if you go, be the other one on the east side. They'll ask you. They'll ask you to free one of one of them. 
that's been captured by the other one. So, it depends how you play the game. You manage to do who's on who's ever who. We'll perform a little ritual then. Joe Lee and it depends. Juhan me. If she's if you killed her or not. We'll go and assist you. And later when you get there. Oh yeah, I remember he has to go to the ancient the uh, temple to disrupt the magnetic field. Then we get there, you'll be Basil who's fall to the dark side, becomes Malik's apprentice. Then blit Then you two then you all get in a fight, but it depends if you against Basil if you're saving the Republic or joining Basil and become Emperor. But the way how I did it, I went I went to save the Republic and defeat Malik. So Basila managed to escape. Basila had managed to escape in. She manages to escape in. Then you disrupt the magnetic field. Go back to your gang. And then you head off to the Endor Spire. I mean, the Endor Spire, my bad. To the Endor Spire. I mean, to the Star Forge. You go in through a different bunch of levels, fight Dark Jedi, find a bunch of droids. Oh yeah, back I forgot to mention where they were at the Leviathan. They did manage to kill Sol They did manage to kill Admiral Sol Kareth. And then he told Karth about about Revan, who he really was, before Malik did. Just to let you know, because I I just remembered. Then, after depends who you took with you, Basil will end up freezing them or stasing, put them in stasis. And then it's just you and her. You manage to fight a while. Then it is up to you where you kill if you kill Basil or spare her. Me, I manage to spare her. Yeah, I manage to spare her. Then all of a sudden, both of us are in. Lovey dubby and whatnot. Then Basil goes back to the to the light side. Then you go to the Star Forge. Then you enter the main Star Forge. You battle Re You battle Malik. Then Mal Then it depends what you say to Malik. It depends what you say to Malik and if you manage to defeat him, I have trouble doing that. He was a hard master to fight. But then you manage you manage to beat him and then you leave the Star Forge. And then on the planet you get on the planet below you get you get rewarded. And then And, and so Reverend becomes a part of like later in Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic to the Sith Lords. If you go to Korriban and you see that weird tomb there, nearly towards the end of the tomb, you will meet Revan spiritually. You actually, and you'll see, and right next to him is you, in a dark side form, or it depends what you are, if you're good or bad. But I was good at the time, so I managed, I managed to beat Revan. And so, let me just cut that short. Revan's history, well, I've heard he's back in the new Star Wars The Old Republic, but then again, I also heard that he was in the Star Wars The Clone Wars cartoon where he was a spirit. But I'm just going with his Old Republic history. But in, but in, in Star Wars The Old Republic, he is back, or... This is before. I don't know if it's a prequel or a sequel because I never played the game. But if you know, please comment on the on this video. And so that's it. And so that's it for history. Now, on to detail. I want to say, this is... Hasbro, they made Revan pretty nice here. I mean, they got all of it. 
they got the cut the pattern the mask the cape and all the robes around him I'm gonna say this is pretty nice and along when I came with this I got a little lightsaber here just give me a sec yeah. there there's that hold on Give me a little bit. I had trouble putting him on right. I had trouble. I have trouble putting him. There. There we are. Alright. And now for articulation. Reverend, he has... Let's see how many articulation points he has. First, this will... I'll give him a credit for this one because... His cape hood can come off. That's one. Let's see. The head rotates 360. All right, so does his so does his arm, both arms. They also swivel up and down. Then, right here, his arm, the arm right here will go up and down, then yet rotate at the same time. With the pants. The hands. The hands roll T360. You might think right here, this may not this may not rotate, but surprisingly, it does. All right. The legs would rotate, but since these caves are in the way, since the caves are in the way, this, this little area right here is in the way. No. The two legs, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, let's just go with a twelve and a half, I guess. And now on to sizing. Hold on, let's see. And now on to sizing. See, when I do, I don't have an apprentice, but I do have a guy that does share the same mess that was trained by the same master as he does as he was here's Nihilus from Star Wars Next to the Republic 2 the Sith Lords hey I don't know I think Nihilus was supposed to be about this big here so but but we never actually seen these two fight but Nihilus was supposed to be a pretty big Sith so so I think right over here confusing, you could say. Alright. But unlike most reviews, I'm gonna do popularity. Revan, out of nearly all the style Star Wars likes to be all public character, Revan is quite mostly famous. I mean he's if he did appear in the Clone Wars more than the other ones, and he has been mentioned in Star Wars The Sith Lords. And if he is back in this Old Republic, popularity I would give it, say, pretty common. But now finally, on to rarity. You normally don't see Revan in your local Toys R Us or Walmart or Kmart or anything. I seen this. Uh, he usually goes up to sixty or or fifty dollars. But I got this ribbon here with a fifth legacy with Darth Bane and Darth Maul. And so that's it for the review. History kind of longish and somewhat confusing. Detail is pretty nice. Articulation pretty pretty good. Savings somewhat confusing. Fusing popularity. Popularity is pretty. It's pretty common and rarity. I'll go pretty pretty high, yeah. So in the end, I'll give this guy a ten out of ten. And so that's it. I hope you enjoy this review. My first review.